Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to install Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the complete edition on DreamUI Smart Pro, a tiny Chinese handheld which for me is a miracle. To be able to run these games and have them in your pocket is just, you know, beyond wonders. Alrighty, let's then, um, let's then start. First of all, let me just exit the game. First of all, um, you need to install the Crossmix OS, as you can see here, uh, system. You can uh, download it straight from GitHub and I'll just put the link to it uh, in the description so you can uh, install it on your, on your own in your free time. Um, this is vital because um, this OS supports an app called a Portmaster. Let's open it. Portmaster lets you run ports of, uh, of uh, many, many games, and some of them uh, come from PC directly. So in order to install Heroes, we need to look for VCMI, the open source Heroes of Might and Magic 3 port. So as you can see, we can find it right here. I am clicking A to show more info. And once you have installed Crossmix, you need to install this port. You can do it via Portmaster on your TumorWise Smart Pro. So you would normally click A to install. Since I have already installed it and have the game configured, I'm going back to show you the next steps. Now let's head to the file manager and we'll read. Let's go to data folder, then ports and VCMI. This is the location of the Heroes of Might and Magic 3 um, game. All the files reside here. And let's head to the readme file at the very bottom view. Here's what we have here. Uh, we have the detailed instructions. So once you've installed the port, you can head here and read uh, what you're required to do next. There's three options to install the game. You can have uh, game files from the CDs. You can have GOG installers. And I follow the third way which is which is when you have the game installed on your PC so you can just you know copy paste them into into this location ports vcmi install and uh, let me just show you this is what i did so we are ports vcmi and i put it in install but once i did it and run the game it seems like Seems like the files just got configured themselves. So anyway, you have to do it as they say. So ports, slash vcmi, slash install. And uh, once you've done it, you need to do two more things. So we are nearly there. Now we need to uh, exit, uh, we need to go back twice. So we are in the root folder of, of SD card. We need to go to ROMs. We need to go way to ports. So scrolling down all the way. And we need to find the vcmi.sh. Let's click view. <clears throat> What you see here is a script uh, uh, that is responsible for running the game once you click the icon. And um, you need to you need to copy paste um, a script that I have already put in the description because the one that is available right now, the one that is downloaded with uh, VCMI uh, via Portmaster, is. Um, has a few a few errors that need to be corrected. So please be sure that you replace this original script with the one 
I put in the description. So nothing too fancy here, but be sure to do it because otherwise uh, the game will not boot. Okay, we are going back to the root folder and now let's enter data pause VCMI again. And there is one important detail to, uh, to check. Let's enter config directory and let's open let's open the shortcuts config folder. I mean uh, file. This JSON file is responsible for mapping all your all your keys, all your buttons, so you can tell exactly which which button is responsible for what. Again, I'll put in the description my version of the config because you can you can um, edit it to your liking without any problem. I have already mapped. Um, I think I have mapped all the buttons. Anyway, you can do it as you wish. And I'll put it in the description, so be sure to check it out. Because if you didn't do it, the game the, the game wouldn't be really navigable at all. So that's it. This is this is what you really need to do in order to to run Heroes 3 on TrimUI. Let me just show you for a couple of minutes how it runs. I'll turn the volume up. And here we are. All right, let it be last chance. Player. All right, lump, uh, Rampart, Alesha, and let the game begin. I'll show you some of my mappings. For example, I have mapped Enter on the right trigger and Escape on the left trigger. The bumpers are responsible for toggling between um, right for cities, left for heroes, the X and turn, Y moves the hero if he has any any um, movement points left. Mm, A is uh, left click, mouse left click, B right click, select I think, yeah, it's for the menu, start, or oh, enters the uh, hero screen, Jimmy my menu, I think that does the same. You, you can also move using the, uh, the D-pad. So the game is pretty playable. And um, I also own a Steam Deck and Steam Deck has trackpads. And I thought that the game would be you know, difficult to play without them. But to be, to be honest, it's not too tedious using, I mean, playing the game this way because of the possibility of mapping lots of actions to your buttons so you don't have to use your joysticks you know for moving the mouse all the time it serves mainly for um, navigating through the world map or or the town screen and that's all so all the you know escape enter actions you can do it just pressing the buttons which is super convenient Alrighty, let's get some elves. And add in turn. Ah, here's our enemy. Uh, I don't think we are strong enough for the vampires. Let's see what's after the subterranean Greg gate. Pack of basilisks. All right, let's try them. I'll show you how a battle works. 
You can also map buttons, I mean uh, shortcuts for, for battle, which are, you know, which is a different layer than the world map. So if I wanted to skip the turn or, you know, defend, I could also map it. Or for example, cast a spell during the battle. And now I clicked wait. And now I, now I um, trigger defend. So it's pretty customizable, which is super fun. Honestly, I do not see any flaws playing this port. And what's super fun about the CMI is that it has many, many options that the original game missed. For example, we can see, you know, the queue of monsters who attacks first, which helps in, in and running your tactics. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and smash the like button. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.